One of my favorite things about this area is that there's just a bunch of hiking trails and open spaces. Somewhere on the trail is a really cool natural, what do you call it, formation, rock formation. It's called Beals Cut. It's actually got some history because back in the day before there were roads and highways coming through this area, this was the only place where you could pass through on a horse and buggy because it's literally like someone cut a sliver out of the mountain. I'm not sure how much of that is accurate. I briefly looked it up and I might be making some of it up, but that's what we're gonna look for today. some ruins of, of I don't know what. At one time, this road that I've been walking on, I think it used to be like a normal road, obviously. I don't know what these ruins were. As you can see, there's like a, there's a, a silo right there. So who knows what was in this? Maybe this was part of someone's farm at one point. Um, I love old stuff. I love ruins of old buildings because it's just cool to wonder what, like what this stuff used to be. Someone's existence used to be here, and maybe not even that long ago. I mean, these ruins don't look super old. I mean, they're made with like cinder blocks and iron beams and stuff, so they can't be that old. But it's crazy that in however long it's been, it's been reduced to pretty much just a foundation and. Uh, some stones and some rust. I just love exploring old stuff like this. So like I said before, I love that there's so many hiking trails and just open space in this area. Though they're not really patrolled very heavily, I can tell that they do come they do come through every now and then and, and try to get rid of graffiti. Although I like graffiti, but they're just trying to promote some good clean fun, y'all, and graffiti is for vandals. Oh shoot. Oh hello, check this out. like no one's lived in this thing for a little bit or maybe it looked like um, maybe it was someone's shop but I definitely think some I think some kids were using it as a hideout because there's like couches in there and graffiti and some questionable DVD choices on the floor if you're a kid and your house is in like hiking distance of this thing oh for sure that's the hideout right there that's the secret base Ooh. Check this out. See, there's like a van up there. Think someone's there? Do you think someone lives in that thing? I guess there's only, I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh shoot! Oh damn! Oh no! Holy! <laughs> that thing 
just emerged from around the corner. Okay, I'm changing the mission here. My original mission was to find like some natural rock formation, which would be cool. And if I find that, sweet. But at the moment, I am way more interested in all these freaking ruins. Like, I didn't know all this stuff was here. <laughs> For someone like me who likes to explore and look at old abandoned stuff, this is a freaking gold mine. What the heck happened here? Why is all this stuff just deserted and torn down? Like, did something happen? Holy. Well that, ladies and gentlemen, is a car. How the heck it got there, and upside down, and trashed? Well, I don't know. I can only guess that it came from up there. The more I keep exploring, the more ruins of old buildings I find and signs of infrastructure, which makes me believe that at one point, this road was just a normal road and it was part of town and there's high homes and businesses along this road and for some reason or another everyone just peaced out. Well, there's a big ass opening in this water tower thing. So I guess the question is, do I go in? Survey says, oh, hello, yes. cool though now that I've explored the inside of this thing the only way to go is up yo yo that was so cheesy I'm sorry I'm working on being less cheesy but it's a work in progress now the question is do I trust these stairs pretty solid but the roof itself is not like every time I take a step I feel I feel the, the floor wiggle underneath me which is actually the roof so I made it just to give you some perspective let me turn the other way oh my goodness oh my goodness let me get off this thing some like nature trails and stuff and I would have to kind of find a way to make it somewhat interesting but turns out I found an abandoned town. <laughs> all right y'all don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff you know the deal 
hit that like button. Make sure you're sub uh, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn those notifications on so I can spam you all day long. And I'll catch you next time. Yay, yay!